Hi, welcome back to the channel. First video of 2022, and it is a very, very good one. It's certainly not one that I expected to make at nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> but this isn't a transfer daily. It is a transfer confirmation on the 1st of January. I don't think that has ever happened <laughs> for West Brom before. Daryl Dyke, uh, who played for Orlando City, played odd load for Barnsley last season, scored nine goals, signed for us. Now, when the news came out originally, it was um, from John Percy and Fabrizio Romano. It was rumoured to be a loan to the end of the season with a view to buy. But as the announcement has come, it's a, it's a permanent deal, four and a half years. And um, I'm stunned, quite frankly. I should look more excited, but I'm just surprised more than anything because Albion don't do this sort of thing. We've, we've got someone in early. Um, now, we played very well for Barnsley last season, got nine goals in, I think it was I think it was 16 games he played, so we got a good return. He scored a brilliant goal against Birmingham City, if, you can, if you've not seen that, go YouTube it now, it's stunning. Highly rated by a lot of, I've had a lot of my mates, or uh, Birmingham fans, I don't know, Barnsley fans, I know a lot of people that have, um, know about more than him than I do, and have said it's a real coup signing. Yeah. I'm very much looking forward to what he's going to do. Apparently, his, his looks like his debut is going to be um, against QPR, but they're likely to probably give him some minutes in the FA Cup. It is a brilliant signing. Um, it's rumoured to be around seven to eight million. Um, and yeah, it's a brilliant signing. I don't know where they got the money from or whether they just decided they're going to spend it because we feel like we could get up. I think this is a big signing. If he's as clinical as everybody hopes he is, he could give us that cutting edge in games that we all know we're missing. I think we'll probably need another signing just to be sure, maybe an attacking midfielder, but it is very positive that we've got a signing done this early in the window. Um, I can't think of it. I was expecting... I thought, I'd thought i have thought if we'd have got Daryl Dyke, I was expecting it to be like an 11th hour deadline day signing because that's how we do it. We don't do things early. <laughs> But we've got some big games coming up in January, and this is going to be a brilliant, brilliant aid for us. QPR, uh, Peterborough, and then we've got um, Millwall. Um, he's going to be in attendance at the Cardiff game tomorrow. He should get a warm reception. He um, he's, he's an American international. Um, he's only twenty one as well. I didn't know that. I thought he was older than he was. I didn't. I didn't know at all that he was only twenty one. So a four and a half year deal. So we we basically I know we've got a canary product, but we're starting to stem these really good young talents. Dara O'Shea, he's still only twenty. Um, Taylor Arn Hitman, Daryl Deek, Daryl Dyke. Um, it's, it's very positive bringing in some youth and hopefully give our side what we've been missing. It is really a, it is a fantastic signing. Chuffed the bits with it. And hopefully. You can hit the ground running. The first time we'll see him will probably be QPR. I look forward to seeing what he can do. Um, he's certainly rated by a lot of the championship. And Barnsley fans in particular have been commenting on Albion pages since it was announced, saying how much of a good signing it is. So, it's a great signing. I'm very pleased. I cannot wait to see what he can do. So, positive news to start 2022. I hope you all had a great New Year's Eve. I hope you all had a good 2021. And I can't wait... 2022 see what you can bring have a great new year everyone hope you had a good christmas and hope you got good plans i'll see you all soon have a good one bye, -bye.